Center. Going down here uh, to Tennessee track to Dyersburg. And been looking online all night last night. I started to go live and, and talk to you guys, but I will go live. Uh, probably tonight, uh, depends on how I feel or whatever. But right now, as you can see, I'm still moving around. I'm still out. Uh, got a driver, had a driver to leave, left this morning going to Houston, Mississippi and taking a load of weed off. And uh, that way, that can buy me some time to go uh, down here to Tennessee Tractor and check this combine out. I was out. supposed to take the other truck and go to Houston, Mississippi as well, but I really just couldn't do it right now, but uh, I decided to just go down here in Tennessee, try to look at some of these uh, There's combine. one particular combine that I saw last night that literally caught my eye, and uh, it's not that far off from the other combine over there at Kevin DeWitt, so uh, I'm going to walk around and look at it and all like that, and check the flight ends and all like that. But uh, this one right here is an S680 that we're going to look at. Uh, they got a S670 down there, but they said it needs some work done, done to it. So it's kind of like mostly like an insurance job or whatever. So I don't have time for that one. So the S680, we're gonna go down here and check it out and we're gonna see what's to it. Gonna, and I'm gonna see if I can just push the envelope. Yeah. Dang. But you know, this is what farmers go through. Can't find nothing. So let's go down here at Tennessee Tractor in Dyersburg, Tennessee, and let's let's see what they got. All right, you guys. Up Tennessee tried to Dyersburg. There she is, right there. None there. There she go, y'all. So let's get out and check her out. See what's to it. So here we at. We at the S680. This is a 2012. No, 2013. Excuse me. And so I just want to come here and check it out, and I want y'all to see together uh, what it looks like. And this time I'm going fully all over the combine. So it looked like she's been cleaned up. She's been washed up real good. So that's where they get you at. Oh, the list looks pretty good. Well, I can't see up in there, but I did see the pictures online though. Uh, look at Bell, got the diagram right there. And swap it over. It looks like it's been cutting beans, but I'm not for sure. Big combine. I can tell you that. And we'll throw our bag. Look, like it's been worked on. That look mighty new. I ain't seeing no bushings or nothing. Go back here to the engine compartment. Just need a little bit. Oh, now we up here. Let's go back here. Fuel tank. Looks like the hydraulic oil is clean. Well, you 
you gotta have two hands for everything. Thirteen point five liter engine. The back part of you. She's been cleaned up. So as you see, it has a chopper on it. And it has this on it. The, what I call it is the word of birds, uh, two for one. That's what I really call it. Let's get over here. And they actually have a door where I can look in it right here. Screen setting works. But I'm still not. I'm still not surprised. But I do know it's four wheel drive. She's gonna need some air in here. Fire extinguisher. Gotta have that. Let's get up in here and check, and check the components out. Yeah, she got the unlocking the load, so this gotta be a fuse box right here. Yes, it is. Now go another one right there, I guess. I guess though that's a fuse box as well. This is your high and low right here. That's part of your swapping over. So when you're in, uh, cutting beans, bring it, bring it uh, out to put that in high. So where basically you got a high, medium, and low. So it's three notches on here. Uh, for this combine, it could be two, but I know mine had three. So as you can see, like that flight been rework that's a new flighting up in there looks like it's been reworked as far as belts and everything this is your concave motor i won't know if that works and nine times out of ten they don't work but that's on any combine because anybody will tell you that um so far right now the tires on the rear is 750 65 R26 SDs. And the tires on the front is 650 85 38. So 650 85 38. Pretty big tire. So let's get in here. Let's walk around. Let's see about the Beta house. Now, something about they said they need to replace the chapter bars on here. That's the only thing that they need to do. And uh, it's up a little bit. You can see you got that clearance right there. So it's up a little bit. I ain't gonna take none of this stuff off. Let's just go over here and just, let's just check it out. Right. Let's see what we got. Just got my monitor bracket right here for the 2630 or 48, I mean 4640. Let's crack it up.
Okay, look like so far on startup, she's cranking up slow, so I'm assuming that the battery is kind of weak on it, which is fine. Uh, water separator circuit troubleshoot required. Let's go over this ECM. So it's got water separator sensor circuit fault troubleshoot required. Okay. Then it's got low coolant, low coolant level low and coolant. So it went out. So. So it looks like it's been cutting soybeans at 24 and 16. That's too much right there. I don't think I want to run that low. So uh, which one of this is? I'll mess with it later. I don't know. I don't know. Get a good look at it. So that's where we at right here. <clears throat> That'd give me time to mess with the functions because I'm it's totally new to me, but uh, I know that bottom screen is a little set a little bit too high. It does have auto track. The AC does work. It is good and cold in here. And uh, got this part right here. Remember y'all was telling me about that. So I don't think I'm going to be using that, but it's good that they have it. So, uh, looks like it's got my RCA cup holder. Got a thing for my radio here. That's a good deal. So, I will be putting the radio in here because that's a must. So I have to have that in here. Uh, so, let's get, let's see if the thing will open. Let's see it's opening. I don't know if y'all can see her. I don't know 
uh, what it is with this thing. So, but yeah, let's get out and let's go back in the bin and let's check it out. Y'all don't mind me asking, what are those right there? That, that, and that. Just out of curiosity, I mean, I don't know. But well, I see it got bins switched on. Right there, at the bottom, as you can see right here, you got another one right there. You got another one right there. Going down. Closed casket. There she had. So let's go ahead and check this green card out while I'm here. A green card out here. Oh, look at some of these heads out here. Head a trailer. Look at this head over here. Oh, bush hog, HX. 20 footer. Yeah, it's over the head right here. This is a 40 foot, 640, 40 foot flex. Draping. That's the head to go with that combine. But do I need something like this? No. I would much rather run that 35 flex just for right now. Uh, spending too much money right now. So I don't even know if I can afford it. Just to be honest with you. So there you have it. Well, that grain card over there belonged to somebody else. So there wasn't no need me looking at that. I know Tennessee Tractor and Alamo got it. So this is Dyersburg, you guys, where I'm at. We're going to get one more. I'm going to make one loop around. We're going to get one clean sweep to see what the, what the yard has to offer. And then 
And then, uh, we'll see what's what. We got a old this over here. Oh, crap. Let me look at this. Old cross disc. Huh. I do need another disc. But see, mine is messed up right here. This right here is broke out on the inside. So I have to do, I have to find one of these right here. This whole chute right here to come from here all the way to out here. Mine is broke out. So. Yeah. Wonder what they're asking for. See the blades need tight. Uh y'all think you too. I don't know, I'm gonna ask them about that old cross deal. What is that? Get the serial number off of it. One second, let me take a picture of the serial number. All right now, I got my picture taken. I'm gonna head a trailer. I ain't, got, I ain't got enough truck to pull something like this. That's a 36. That's the head of trailer I need for my, uh, for my head on. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get one. I'll talk to T about it. See what what. So let's go around the yard and let's see what's what's around. 83. y'all want me to get and it has death absolutely not well let's get one last look at this combine and let me call tj let's see what let's see what what let's see when can i get it out from over here y'all y'all pray for me TJ let's make it happen 